Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will showcase the power of the Dataverse MCP server in Microsoft Copilot Studio and Power Apps. We will start from what is MCP to utilizing the tools of the Dataverse MCP server, list tables, read queries, update record, and a lot more. So let's check this video out in action. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It is an open standard that allows large language models to safely interact with external systems, data, and tools. Think of MCP as a bridge or a translator. It lets AI agents communicate with systems, tools, and data safely and in a structured way. MCP works like a USB port for AI. Every tool fits because MCP is that universal connection format. MCP versus API. The API is the interface that a system like Dataverse, SharePoint, or SQL exposes so that other softwares can access data or actions. On the other side, MCP is the AI's official way to use those doorways. MCP doesn't replace APIs. Instead, it provides a standard language and structure so AI systems or agents can safely call APIs via MCP tools without needing custom code or direct development work. The API is the system's access point and MCP is the protocol that lets AI use those access points safely and automatically. Our focus will be to connect to Dataverse with MCP. The best part, we don't have to build an MCP server for that. Microsoft has built one for us. Microsoft Dataverse can act as an MCP server, providing intelligent access to its underlying tables and records to various MCP clients, like Copilot Studio, Visual Studio Code, Plot Desktop, and more. To use Dataverse as an MCP server, there is a little bit of configuration involved. In Power Platform, for my environment, under the environment setting features, one of the feature is Dataverse Model Context Protocol on by default. This allows MCP clients to interact with the Dataverse MCP server. There is an MCP client allow list wherein the admins can define which clients can call the MCP server. Let's go to the advanced settings. Microsoft Copilot Studio. This is already enabled as an allowed MCP client to access the Dataverse MCP server. There's Microsoft GitHub Copilot in here as well. It's set to know. As an admin of the environment, if you want to enable this, you can easily do so. Any other clients you would like to add and allow, you'll have to whitelist them here. Plus, the tools, the list of tools that the Dataverse MCP server exposes allows us to list tables, describe tables, create, update, delete, read, full CRUD support on our data. All of this by respecting the user's permissions. These tools are utilizing SQL. Back to the environment settings, one other aspect to look at and enable is the TDS endpoint, which is enabled in my scenario. Now let's try and use the MCP server in Copilot Studio. I'll go ahead and create an agent. My agent has been provisioned. To use the MCP server under tools, let's add a tool model context protocol, here is the Dataverse MCP server. I'll click add and configure. And in just a few clicks, my agent will be able to query information from the tables in my Dataverse environment based on the permissions I have. No code, no API keys, everything is handled automatically via MCP. 
the Dataverse MCP server is added as a tool. These are all the tools that are exposed by the MCP server. By default, they are all turned on. As the agent maker, you have the option to choose which tools would be available as part of this MCP server that's connected to your agent. I'll keep all the options open. Let's test our agent. In my environment, I have a table called claim that has simple claims information. Let's ask questions to the agent. List all the claims. It's the first time it's trying to access the Dataverse MCP server. So it's going to use my connection. I'll allow. Now, when I interact with the agent, list all claim table data, you can see how the agent works with the MCP server and starts utilizing the tools. List tables. This will list out all the tables in the environment that I have access to. Then the description of the table. So it understands the columns, the schema of the table. And then it fires a read query based upon the input that I provided, which was list all claim table data. So here it is listing all the data from my claims table. Let's ask a follow up question. How many claims are more than $200? And it responds with there are five claims with an amount greater than $200. Get me the details for the claim fitness mat. Here are the details. I want to update the amount for this to $200. Currently it was set to 300 done. It's changed the amount to $200. All of this is happening live against my data source. If we explore my table for claim fitness mat, the amount has been updated to $200. And you can also see the tool that the data was MCP server utilized to perform the update. My copilot is responding using real Dataverse data and it can work with any table, order table. Now in my environment, I have multiple order tables. So just to be specific to the agent, I'll copy the logical name of my table. How many records in my orders table? Once again, the Dataverse MCP server comes alive. Notice here, it's executing the SQL query to go and grab the information. So I have 39 orders. So that's the power of this Dataverse MCP server tool that we can add to our agents. Now, as you saw, it can query all the tables in this environment. But what if I'm building an agent specific to a particular scenario? For example, project and task management, a projects table that has details about the project and a task table that has task details that are related to a project. One project can have many tasks. For my agent instructions, I'll describe what I would like this agent to do. Your job is to read, search, create, update information in two specific tables. I'm calling out exactly what those tables are. I'll save my instructions. Now, if I try and ask the same question, the question was related to my orders table. This time it says I can only assist with project and task data stored in Dataverse because that's what I have directed my agent to do. How many projects? I misspelled projects. That's okay. AI is smart enough to understand my intent. The response, there are a total of 15 projects. List the projects where the budget is greater than 150 K. The MCP server weaves its magic and check that out. Within seconds, it's able to grab that information. Show me the project owner information as well. I'll ask my question again. Now, it's also going to the user table to grab the related information. You can see how powerful this is. And here is the full list. It's broken it down by who the project owners are. 
what projects are they owning and it is only showcasing those projects where the budget is greater than 150k a project can have many tasks so list the projects which have tasks once again the magic begins and here is the list of projects that have associated tasks next i want to create a new project the agent is going to give me the details of what is required to create a project and this it does by using the describe table tool you can see how intuitive this is i'll provide some details project name is ai driven productivity hub start date end date description and the project budget will smartly utilize the available tools in this case the create record tool to go and create a new project for me also update the project owner to me if we now look at the project table here is the newly created project how many projects have budget less than 50k the agent uses the mcp server and provides the response if you observe it's firing this sql query what if i want to utilize this in the context of power apps the allowed mcp clients list power apps is not an allowed client let's first go ahead and add that name power apps unique name new underscore power apps mcp and the power apps portal has an application id i've plugged that in i will enable this save and close so now i can call the tools of that mcp server directly from a power app and how about doing this in a model driven power app using generative pages here i have designed an experience where i can fire sql queries directly against the mcp server let's try this exact same query right here get me the count of projects where the project budget is less than 50000 i am running this in a power app run the query here's the result and now that i have access to all the tools that the dataverse mcp server offers how about creating experiences like this show me all the tables in my current environment and show me all the row counts for it for each of these tables i can select and i'll get its schema so it shows me the different columns the custom columns the system columns it also shows me the relationships and if i select this it will take me to the related table I was able to do all of this because I now have the power to call that MCP server directly from my power app. And here is my model driven power app in which I have used generative pages which allows me to write react code. Here is my page for the SQL query executor. Here's the react code. All I'm doing here the key part I am calling the endpoint for MCP. I'm calling the tool read query. Here I need to give the SQL query. That query is what I am allowing the user to enter right here. For the one that lists out all the data was tables, row counts, and more, here I have utilized multiple tools from the MCP server. Once again, API MCP. go call the tools table description list all the tables go fire the sql query to get the count and more i hope this video showcased the power of the dataverse mcp server if you enjoyed this video then do like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching